The student debt crisis is one of epic proportions. There's no possible way students will ever be able to pay this back. It has grown so much and many borrowers are delinquent. Lawmakers are constantly talking about creating a debt forgiveness plan for students who are heavily burdened. At $1.5 trillion, this will make for an interesting set of events. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we're going to talk about the epic student debt crisis. Individuals today are heavily burdened by the amount of debt that they have experienced. They're not ready for their careers. They're not ready for the real world according to these statistics. I want to show you this study here. Students lose confidence in career outlooks as they progress through college. Now while this is only a sample size of 7,000, it gives us a sneak peek at what all individuals are experiencing and you can talk to these people the students that are coming out today ask them what they're learning and unfortunately for too many of these people the information is not practical and it does not apply to their future place of work. You might be in the situation yourself or perhaps you know somebody that went through their school, got the education, then they couldn't find a job. And at this point, they have to pay the bills, they have debt, it's the real world. So they get a job, it's only temporary they think, then they're there for one year, they're there for two years, five years, and so on. And then they don't want to leave because they've developed relationships, they start to feel comfortable in the position, and they think to themselves, I have some seniority here. If I can work really hard two years down the road, I can be in this position and then that will pay me what I want. No, it isn't what I was educated for, but ultimately it's a good position, good career and so on. This has happened to too many people. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I know many people that were in this situation. However, it's a problem because of all the debt that they have racked up, which didn't need to happen because of the way that their career path has worked out. Let's look further into this. Complete data and analysis. 36% of seniors don't feel prepared for their career compared to 20% of freshmen. So it seems as though these individuals, they come into university, they're all gung-ho, they're ready for it. They're saying, I'm going to graduate, I'm going to get a job, it's going to be fantastic. Then by the time they're at the very end of their education, they realize, I'm not ready for this. And of course, many people will not be able to find the jobs anyway. However, this is the state state of the events that we are seeing. They get to this age, they get to the end, and they realize this is too much, I am not capable. But is it that individual's fault? Or is it what's happening throughout the education? They've had all the way from K to 12, and then post-secondary, and they didn't learn real life skills. They may have learned some at home, probably not, but unfortunately for too many, there is very little to no practicality in the education that they've received. As the table illustrates, college students steadily lose confidence in their future careers as they inch closer to receiving their diplomas. 20% of undergraduate freshmen in the class of 2022 lack confidence in their post-grad future. Less than half of all college students, 49%, have confidence in their careers after leaving campus. I mean, that is not a strong statistic. There's no other way to look at that. I mean, it's unfortunate because they are in the state where they should be. They should have more confidence. They have just come out there fresh out of college. They have the education. They have their paper. And now it's time to find a job. But unfortunately, this is troublesome for too many people. You can see the way it's broken down here. I just wanted to show you that, give you all the details there. But I was happy to see that they actually talked about solutions, how colleges can help fix the problem. And part of this in here was actually real world possibilities for what they can do. And that is providing these individuals with life skills that are not taught in the school and they're not mandatory parts of their education. For example, how to create a resume. Maybe you can go to some workshop that's there. What about 
about, as it says at the very bottom, actually creating career-oriented coursework. Why not have that? Why does it always have to be this theoretical sense that many people can't wrap their head around? So they do suggest some things in here, and I think it's great that they've done this because ultimately people don't know what to do, and unfortunately the school system isn't going to provide that for you, so you need to actually take the step and do it on your own. That's just the way it is. So I would definitely recommend any students today or any that have recently graduated to make sure that you have the skills and you can start that by going online learning what you need to know and then taking the plunge and you have to do it because unfortunately they're not going to help you you can see the actual size of the debt that's here. The student loans have exceeded $1.5 trillion. This is a number that will never be paid back. But this is now getting very interesting. It could become easier for people with student debt to file for bankruptcy. Lawmakers have introduced a bill that would make it easier for student loan borrowers to cancel their debt in bankruptcy. This is different than other forms of debt, and perhaps that could be changing. It's important to have legislation that will provide vulnerable student loan borrowers who cannot repay their debt with a pathway to re-establish their financial stability. So I want to see if this actually does go through. If a large percentage of this 1.5 trillion dollars goes through bankruptcy, I think we're going to have major changes in the United States and they will be felt for years to come. So we'll see how that all plays out. I just wanted to bring up this interesting issue because it affects so many in so many different ways. Now we find that the parents are being burdened by the student debt. I mean, we have a lot of issues happening and I thought it was going to be an interesting video. If you found it informative, please give me a thumbs up. When you give me a like on this video, you're supporting me. If you want the financial education that was not taught to you in school, these two books have everything you need. The foundation history, the asset classes, how to make money, how to reduce your debt, all of the details that was purposely left out, they're all in here. So check it out at the link in the description if you want the audiobook that's available at themoneygps.com. If you want to know about the debt that millennials have and how exaggerated it has become, you have to watch this video. Click on it and I will see you there.